Hello everyone, welcome back to Ark's Fatalis. Once again, we return to the Temple of Akaba. To this rather bloody room full of skeletons and meat. So let's see what's going on here. This looks like a grinder. Ugh, I'm actually wading through it. Up to my knees almost. I think I need to do some platforming. <laughs> oh god. Let's try this. They, oh, almost. Uh, wait, what? Wait, these things don't have collision? What? The freaking wooden planks don't have collision? Are you kidding me? What? Okay. Um, hmm. I'm thinking maybe I could get on this, but I can't really jump. Hmm. Yeah, I can't jump from here for some reason. Maybe I'm not supposed to get there. Perhaps that's just a return place, right? Like, maybe you come back through here at some point? I don't know. Something doesn't seem right. Something does not seem right. I wonder about the reveal spell. I wonder if there's something I'm missing here. Or was it? There it is. Oh, damn it, it disappeared. Ah, how do you make that? Come on. Come on. Come on. I think it's very long, right? The middle part? For the love of God. Are you kidding me? Ah. Oh. Alright, which one is it? What's the offending rune? Alright, straight up, then horizontally, kinda, you know, diagonal. Uh, then straight. Straight down. No, straight up. And then straight up. Okay. Gotta get. Oh my god, this system. I'm gonna lose my mind. Alright, straight up. Over really far. Straight up. Come on. That wasn't very good, actually. Straight up. Over. Straight up. There we go. But wait, wait. That sounded like it failed. I give up. <laughs> I give up. And he's once again faced through an object. Yes. Let us return to our prayer. Yum <laughs> Alright, looks like there's a secret thing up here, too. Is there a golem in here all also? Hello? Oh. Well, shit. I think it's actually going to take me to the other side of this thing. Maybe? Hmm. Maybe not. The day he came. Let's see. How long is this? Not too long. These facts are related by Lord Long, creator and high priest of the Dark Order in the year 1909. When he came, 
I was a brilliant ambassador serving the Kingdom of Arks. At that time, we still lived on the surface, where the sun shone with all its might. On the 37th day of the year 216, I was in the observatory when there was a solar eclipse and I saw a meteorite falling from the sky, heading towards our region. When it hit the ground, there was a terrible earthquake. I immediately thought it was the end of the world. But as things calmed down, I went to see the point of impact. The moment my fingers touched this extraterrestrial rock, a vision struck me and knocked me unconscious. While I was lying unconscious, something began to speak to me. The voice explained to me that it was here to save our world, and that it would show me the path to enlightenment. I felt enormous hands seize me, and I heard murmurs addressed to me in a deep and guttural voice. Then I saw many images, from the beginning of time to the present. I learned his name, the name of my god, Akba, undisputed lord of Arks. At that moment, I knew what my mission in life, I knew uh, what my mission in life was to help, wait, what? I think it's supposed to be that, I knew that my mission in life was to help Akba find followers who believed in his power. The more followers I could find, the greater the power of my god would be. He would then be able to reincarnate himself on Arks and make me master of the world. So I built a temple in his honor in the underground tunnels not far from our town to honor him and spread the word of his religion. I also had to make the Kultk meteorite the focus of all our energies. And the only way to satisfy my god was to sacrifice thinking beings to him. The adoration and love I bore him were rewarded with numerous powers and with knowledge of magic spells, making me much more powerful than a mere human. Power which struck fear into hundreds of non-believers. Interesting, that's describing the founding of the the movement, if you will. The order, the religion. And the discovery of the meteorite. Well, let's hope Akba is not reincarnated on Arks. Hopefully it hasn't already happened. And is that not just the cutest little chest? Oh my god, that is a door. Whoa! Hi. The fuck are you? Okay. That's not good. Ah, oh, that's a poison cloud, isn't it? Please die. Holy shit. Oh god, I'm frozen. I'm frozen, I can't move! Shit, shit, shit. Oh no, I'm frozen again. Oh no! No! Oh shit, I'm being slowed. I'm so slow. How much health do you have? Okay. Oh. Holy crap. How many life potions do I have left? I did have a big stack. Alright, I've still got 10 left, thankfully. Ooh. What the hell is that thing? It's a, a lich. Doesn't even have anything on it. Damn. Yeah, I've noticed, by the way, that um, Arx Fatalis has some severe performance problems when there's particles on the screen. It even happens when I'm just drawing glyphs. Like, even just drawing glyphs will make the game very choppy. When I was running through those clouds of smoke and stuff, I was getting really bad performance at certain points, making it kind of hard to do anything. Um, so, if anyone knows if there's a way to fix that, uh, let me know. I mean, I am using Arx Libertatus. 
which uh, certainly improved performance from how it was before, but yeah, if there's a way to further improve it with the particles and all that, let me know. I would very much like that. Okay. Another Aquas Rock. Do they not stack? No, they don't. I don't know what they're worth, so I don't know if I should make room for them. Uh, I guess I won't. Ooh, 400 coins. Nice. Uh, a cursed ring of misery. Wait. It's, a, it's, it's just a debuff. That's it. It doesn't help in any way. W why would I want it? Oh, maybe some poor sap will buy it. I literally have no room, do I? The ring didn't auto-equip or something, did it? No, okay. Just wanted to make sure it's not some super nasty thing that leeches onto you and never lets go. I was supposed to dump that candle. It's not too important. Ooh, I leveled up, didn't I? I did level up. Cool. Sort my stuff. Okay, uh, where do I want to spend my points? I think I should probably just upgrade mental. Yeah, I think I do want to lead a little bit, or, um, want to lean a little bit more towards spellcasting. As frustrating as it can be to actually cast spells. I just pressed C to open the character panel. No, that doesn't work. It's F1. Alright, so let's do that. Now what, I suppose I should mostly focus on casting. Definitely get it up to 50. I want to be better at picking locks, too, because I've had a lot of locks be very difficult for me to do. I'd also like to upgrade object knowledge so I can do stuff like identify this saber. That'd be nice. Uh, I'm going to focus on spellcasting, actually. Get it up to 60. And then I'll spend a little bit on technical. You who dare to disturb my rest and want to get your filthy hands on my treasure, I curse you to your very death. Oh. Well, I suppose if I read that first. I. Well, no, nah, I probably still would have looted it anyway. <laughs> I, I probably would have. <laughs> There's something in here before, wasn't there? So I guess he actually woke up out of here. Oh wow, he's actually phased completely through at this point. Excuse me, sir, do you need assistance? I didn't know being blind meant that you could defy the laws of physics and phase through materials. I guess if you don't see it, it doesn't exist. Okay, well, if I can't find a way to continue here... Then I wonder where I go. Look at the map. It looks like the meat room here actually kind of connects to perhaps here, which is somewhere where I've been, apparently. What is there? Oh, you know, I think that's just a, f um, a gate that you can't even open. That's in the Goblin Outpost, I think, up there. So maybe it's like a back entrance to it. Hmm. I don't really know what to do. There's the password place, but I don't know what password to enter. I've awoken the golem by stuffing a golem's heart into it. There he is. Hi. Come on. Let's go! Yeah, but let's go where? Like, I still don't know if he's just a guard or if he does something. So slow. Yeah, I honestly have no idea, so I'm gonna look around and try to find something, and I'll be right back.
Oh, you know what? I think I just figured something out. There's this pressure plate here that I can't... I can't make it go down. Well, guess what something very heavy is? A golem. Yes. Stay there. Sit. Actually, don't stay there. Please move so I can get... get Alright, there we go. Cool. Um, what's this gonna do? What the hell did that do? Don't even hear so much as a noise. Can I grab the other ones? No. I tried to leave with the golem, by the way. I tried to go, um, this way, and he wouldn't even follow me, so I don't think he's gonna even leave this room, really. I think he's just for that one place. I don't think there's any more in here. Any more anything. Hmm. I didn't unlock this, did it? No. I do have a note in here. It says, the first locks the second. Could that be referring to these? These levers? Well, then which one's the first? And what does it even mean? What does it matter? So that one's down. And I believe I just turned this one down, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can't even get him to come with me anymore, so that, that was his entire purpose right there. That's it. The first locks the second. Is that even related to this? I don't even know what that's talking about. The first what unlocks the second what? And this is supposedly the key to the security system. Access code is 113. I did that, but it didn't do anything from what I can tell. Uh, alright, I'm gonna keep looking around. Oh, um, okay, I discovered two things. For one, I, oh, I messed it up. Well, I forgot about this sign back here at the entrance that said no magic permitted inside. They don't just mean a stern warning, they literally mean no magic is even possible, so that's why my reveal spell failed. Because even an ignite fails. So yeah, literally nothing works. And I also discovered that if I jump at this just right, I can actually make it. So that might do it. Okay, I couldn't jump for some reason. It seems like I can make it. The jumping system is really weird. Half the time you can't even jump. It's almost like it pre-calculates your trajectory, and if it, if the jump is going to put you somewhere it doesn't like it, it doesn't even bother to do the jump. Okay, yeah, I can definitely make that. Okay, there we go. I made it. I don't actually think I'm supposed to have made it, though. Because on reflection, I've realized that I'm pretty sure those things on the side are meant to be a platform that can come out and allow me to walk across these stones here. I don't know how to actually get them to extend, but I'm pretty sure that's how you're supposed to do it, so I might be breaking the game by doing this, which means I'm going to save it first. Let's make a permasave. sooner. A guardian. Your presence here is of great encouragement to us. This proves we finally have the power to bring Akba to life here, and that he is more powerful than ever. As for the two of us, my sweet, 
we shall continue this ceremony later. Inra Nika Dam Rianama. What the hell is that? Oh my god, why am I getting like 2 FPS? Holy shit. Is it okay, okay, now it's now it's better. Now it's better. I really want more fireballs. Okay, I think I can do it. It oh I don't have enough mana for another one. I could drink a mana potion, obviously. I think I'm just gonna stab it. Get away from me, you foul beast. Thing has very long arms. Thankfully, I have a very long sword. No, I fucked it up. Did you just block my attack? Oh. I think it's actually drank a mana potion too. I did. Oh, thank God. Oh, bless you, stranger. I don't know who you are, but you've made a friend today. Akba will have to look elsewhere for his meal. <laughs> I won't forget this. I promise. <laughs> the voice acting. She's talking as if I just, like picked up her groceries when she accidentally dropped them on the ground or something like I just did her casual favor when she was just about to be fucking now sacrificed to a god <laughs> and when she said she's gonna repay me it sounded like she wanted to repay me with a sexual favor or something that was just weird that was, <laughs> that was really weird her tone of voice was ill-fitting someone who's about to be sacrificed Do I have any more spells that... I mean, do I have any amazing spells I could use that are maybe better than Fireball? Or, you know, something that could have helped me during that fight? Like, I need to... I need to experiment with some stuff. You know what? Let's try heal. Let's see how much it heals. I know it would have healed it, so that's probably wouldn't that wouldn't be the thing to use, but let's try it. Ooh. That was actually very good. That was very good. And it's an easy spell, too. Very easy. Whoops. Hmm, I wonder what the range on it is, like... Could I just get a little bit of distance from it and then use it? I need to experiment at some point. An armor increases my defense. So let's see if I can figure out how much it increases my defense. So my armor class is 22. So it's the same as the heal spell, except it's got the curvy talon thing instead of the other 
thing I'm a bobber. From 22 to 30? That seems like a significant increase. Not maybe amazing, but it's pretty good. I wonder how long it lasts. Um, oh, it's a continuous drain. Yep, 37, 36, 35, 34. You can see in the top left, if you click on your health or mana, it gives you the actual number. Hmm, that doesn't seem worth it at all. Increase my defense by a little bit and eat up all my mana or just use it for a fireball. That doesn't seem worth it. Definitely a lot of experimentation that could happen. You know what, I want to try this feed thing, even though I don't think I actually get hungry. Let's just do it. It looks fun. Mmm. Tastes delicious. Okay, I believe I'm supposed to destroy this thing, am I not? That is, that's the meteor, right? Before I do that, what's behind these curtains? Is there a man behind the curtain? <gasps> what the hell is that? That's obviously a meat door. I don't want to touch that. <laughs> security system. Oh, security system. Emergency exit. Okay, this is probably what that message has to do. The first locks the second or whatever. Hmm. What's down here? It's probably just the exit. It's a suspicious dead end. No secret. Oh! <laughs> there is a secret. I knew there had to be something. Whoa! Uh, what the fuck? That's weird. Normally you have to click the I want to move levels thing. Okay. So wait, where did that take me? I think just... Right back to the goblin outpost, right? Yeah. I guess they subdivided it. The level. Alright. Well, that's a nice little shortcut. Works both ways. Alright, so yeah, I can't just touch it, right? Jesus, that's loud. The meteor withstood my attack. It is stronger than expected. I must ask Felnor about this and explain to him what happened. I'm trying to remember who Felnor is. Who the hell's Felnor? I wish I had an encyclopedia of people. I, I don't remember who Felnor is. But, hold on, what's this security system about, then? And what's this? Oh god, what did I do? What? What am I looking at? Oh, is that a sec That's a security camera, isn't it? It's a magical security camera. Can I move it? No, I can't move it at all. I think that's just the place I came in from. Emergency exit. Okay. The first locks the second. So the security system locks the emergency exit? So what if I try to use the emergency exit right now? Is it, okay. Does that mean if I turn off the security system? That's where the security cam was looking, right? Yeah, this is right where I came in from.
So if I do this, what happens? That didn't sound good. Ah. Didn't quite hit the mark there. Obviously. <laughs> didn't quite hit the mark a mark, a mark of what? Okay, I can't even use it now. So that has nothing to do with the the exit has nothing to do with this. The first locks the second. Okay, so that one locked the second? The, the second what? Was there another lever? Because I don't see one. I probably should not have tried to do that again. Did I fuck something up horribly by using that lever? Like, did I permanently disable something very cool? I don't know. Felnor. Who is Felnor? Is that the guy who... is blind? I mean, he wouldn't want to help me, obviously, would he? And if I go down there, I'm not going to be able to easily get back. Alright, well, I just saved it. Are you, Felnor? Are you still... Did you travel further? Oh my god, he's literally... He's fucking leaving the world. He's disappearing off this plane of existence slowly. He's just sliding into the void. I... If that's Felnor, then my game is broken. Like, I literally can't complete the main quest of That's Felnor. I don't remember. <laughs> I, can't, I can't talk to him. What the hell, man? I remember I saw him f uh, phasing through this before, and then I think later I saw him back here. Maybe at some point he resets? What makes him reset? Uh, I don't know. I might have to replay some stuff. I, I don't really know what's happening. Some strange voodoos going on. Right. Um. Hold on. Let's take a quick look here. I think my last save should be okay for Felnor, right? Or whoever this guy is. Yeah, okay. Is that Felnor? Yes. I don't think Let it is. Let us return to our prayers, brother. His name is just Priest. So, should be fine. Okay, well in that case, I, I guess I'm good. Hopefully I don't need to ever talk to him again. Hopefully. Really, really, really hopefully. So, since I can't remember who Felnor is, um... I think I'm just gonna end this episode here. Look up who Felnor is so I actually know where to go. Because otherwise, I'm going to be wandering around for a long time. I'm assuming they're back in the city. I mean, that's not the name of the king, is it? I don't think his name was Felnor. I'm not sure. I'll figure it out. And I think I'll look at this priest to see whether he's an important character, because he very well might disappear into the ether. So I need to make sure I don't ever need him again. Alright, so, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.